Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a recipe that was recently brought to my attention by Invader Divs. He lives in South Africa and he was talking about something called a pepper steak pie and I thought it sounded absolutely delicious and I wanted to try it for myself. So I did a little Google search, found a bunch of recipes for it and I think I've come up with one that's pretty close to what he enjoys over there. So the ingredients I'll be using today are two and a half pounds of beef chuck steak, one large onion that I sliced up, You'll need one tablespoon of freshly grated black pepper. You do want to make sure it's freshly grated here. I've got a two tablespoons of flour that I've gone ahead and seasoned with a little bit of salt and some more black pepper. Three tablespoons of brandy. I'll need a two tablespoons of olive oil to fry the beef up in. I've also got some fresh thyme. We'll be needing some beef stock as well as one beaten egg that I'll be brushing on top of the puff pastry crust. So those are all our ingredients and the first thing I want to do is bring in my flour and quickly stir in that salt and pepper. And once that's done, I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top of my beef and then I will get this mixed in. Now that I have my steak coated in flour, I've gone ahead and heated up my two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to start adding these into my pan so that they can start to brown up. The recipe that I'm following says that I need to add in my onions at this time as well so that they can cook down with the beef. Give those a quick little spread around and at this time I'm also going to start heating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 20 minutes of cooking the beef is browned up, my onions are sweated down and the juices that release from the beef have kind of thickened up from that flour that I added. The next thing to go in is the three tablespoons of brandy along with the one tablespoon of black pepper and I'm also going to add in a two and a half cups of beef stock. Make sure you stir this really well so that flour incorporates throughout all of that beef stock. And the last thing I'm going to add now are about four to five uh, thyme sprigs. I'll pull those stalks out later after this is cooked for about 45 minutes in the oven on 350 degrees. We just need to cook it until that beef gets nice and tender and the broth is nice and thick. After being in the oven for 45 minutes, our steak is nice and tender and it's thickened up beautifully. I've gone ahead and rolled out a sheet of puff pastry into a 10 inch deep dish pie shell. I did go ahead and spread a little bit of oil just into the pie shell before I put the puff pastry sheet down just to help it release a little bit easier when I go to serve it. And now all I'm doing is simply filling it up with my my filling here. One other note before you put the lid onto your pie is to make sure that you removed all of your thyme sprigs, which I did do. And if it needs it, check it for seasoning. Make sure it's got enough salt in there for your taste, which I did as well. All right, and there we go. Now that that's on, I'm going to go around and crimp my edges with a fork so that my filling doesn't leak out. Before brushing it with egg wash, I'm just going to run a knife around the edges to remove any of that excess puff pastry. We are not going to need it. It's already done its job, so I'm going to set that over to the side. Make sure I clean up my edges, make sure everything's nice and crimped down. And the last thing I have to do before this goes back into the oven is to brush it with that beaten egg. Now I didn't add any water to this to make it an egg wash, I'm just simply using the beaten egg. Now that I have the egg wash on top, this is going to go back into a 400 degree oven for about 25 to 35 minutes or until the puff pastry is cooked all the way through and it turns a nice golden brown on top. After baking for 30 minutes, I removed the pepper steak pie from the oven and I did allow it to sit here on the counter for about 10 minutes just so it could cool down a little bit. And now all we have left to do is a dive in and try this out. I'm very excited for it. The little bits and pieces that I have been trying so far have been really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I am having such a hard time stopping myself from continuing to eat this dish. It is so good. The meat is melt in your mouth tender. And that peppery bite you get from all that black pepper I added into it. 
leaves just a really nice burn in your mouth. I really do like this and I'll definitely be making it again. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Diz for introducing me to this dish. I've had an absolute blast making it and getting a chance to try out one of your favorite dishes. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you all have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. Have a well, girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.